Hello everybody, welcome to another movie review. This is called Moonlight 2016. This is a story of a lifetime moonlight. Gave this movie a rating of 6 and I saw it in 2017, very recently in March. Moonlight is the first picture with an all black cast to win the Oscar for Best Picture. That's amazing. So let's think about the great black films of the last 55 years. A Raisin in the Sun, Shaft, The Color Purple, Lean on Me, Glory, Boys in the Hood, Straight Out of Brooklyn, Hoop Dreams, and Antoine Fisher. Most of them would have won Best Picture if they weren't against such a stacked deck of superior films. But the last 20 years, the tranquility of cinema has gone straight downhill. There are no great pictures anymore. Many of them have been total dreck. That's why I have only seen a total of 22 feature films that were made the last 10 years compared to almost 800 from the 90s. When a 21st century film wins Best Picture, it's not even that comparable to many pictures from the 50s through the 90s, hence Moonlight is such that. Moonlight is told in three acts and they have been wholly inconsistent. The first act is okay but mostly irrelevant. The second one is when the movie starts to improve. It was coming together so well with haunting moments. The third and the final act is what torpedoed the whole thing, and the movie just sank to the bottom of the ocean floor like the Titanic. Overall, Moonlight is a slightly <clears throat> above average movie, but it is certainly no best picture. The truth is, nearly all films of the last 20 years have not been the best picture worthy. The winners have been, quite frankly, either plain or downright awful. <clears throat> when I finished Moonlight, I was totally mystified by the sheer number of awards that were heaped on everybody associated with it. The trouble with the voters is that they don't know how to properly evaluate a film. The reason why is perhaps they haven't watched enough movies to know better. The performances by Moonlight's cast have been pretty good. The players have done an excellent job to ensure high quality filmmaking, yet the movie is just slightly above average. Mahershala Ali won Oscar for the Best Supporting Actor and Noemi Harris was nominated for Best Supporting Actress. Neither deserved it because they weren't remarkable enough. It's a case of been there, done that. One thing I hate about Moonlight, which is a common complaint of mine for many recently made movies, is the shoddy camera work. The one, This one really gave me a headache as the percentage of close-up shots is almost 100%. Come on, just show some space and let me breathe, for Christ's sakes. All in all, the voters of the Academy, Motion Picture, Arts, and Sciences need to call a spade by spade a spade by letting the categories to go default. Even if it's just going for to last for years until somebody truly deserves an Oscar for turning in an exceptional piece of work. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please uh, join me for my other movie reviews, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.